So, hmm, I get an announcement. An announcement that initially shakes me, but at the end of it, I became more confident than I really am. <laughs> Retro, what you've had to do is unfortunate on your part, because obviously you can't exactly give us what we agree. <laughs> but in place of that, you've given us something greater. So until that favor's done, I settle for more Mario Kart. Because <laughs> you see, on the Switch, when it comes to Mario Kart, you're looking at one of the undisputed kings of that damn game. <laughs> even, Sean, I'll even take you back to just a couple of weeks ago before the Christmas break. I was in your establishment, I was in your house, arcade club, and trust me, it's a mighty fine place, I'm not going to lie, but I, there, I was there, I kicked ass, man, <laughs> I kicked ass at Mario Kart, so, if you think that your little change of plans is going to shake me, hmm? If you think your little change of plans is going to shake the undisputed generation? Nah. Because you see, son, what you have done is given us a game we can call ours. Mario Kart has generated some of the best players out of me and my generation. The undisputed generation is going to rain hell over your little change of plans. We're gonna make your change of plans look like right mugs. We're gonna make you technically look like a right old mug. Because of what you did. You mugged me off. You mugged me off. You mugged my generation off. We were trying to, we were ready to bust our ass as Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. But yet you, pretending you didn't see it coming, decided to turn the tables on the Unspeaker Generation. See, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're trying to get in our heads. You're trying to get in our heads. You're trying to throw the Unspeaker Generation off their game. It's not going to work. Your little mind games don't work on us. February, in the charity event. <laughs> Retro Games Night is going to get a completely different title. What that title is, just got to wait to find out, aren't you? Because you mug me off, I get something in return. <laughs> now, I know you hypocrites didn't think we were going to take it well. Yes, we didn't take it well originally, but now we're going to take the ball, we're going to run with it, and just like some of the great baseball players, knock it right out of the park. So, if you hypocrites thought that your mind games are going to catch us off guard, <laughs> trust me, you got another damn thing coming. February, you're coming to our world. February, you step onto our game. Our environment. <laughs> That's not a threat. That's not a promise. That, my hypocritical friends, is undisputed. 